Hey, we're Fletch and Vaughn, and I don't know about you, Fletch, but uh, when I was 13, my biggest worry would have been uh, if that girl was going to call me back on the landline. Because <laughs> we only had landlines yeah. when I was 13. I think mine was getting up at 6 o'clock to do the paper run. Uh, but we can't even begin to fathom what it must have been like for Jake, who at 13 was diagnosed with leukaemia, and at one stage spent six months in hospital isolation. He's got a rather inspirational tale, and here he is to tell you. When I was first diagnosed with leukaemia, when I was first told leukaemia, the uh, first question I had was, uh, will I still be able to be a firefighter if, if I beat this? Uh, that is really the one thing that did matter to me. If that had been taken away from me due to cancer, I would have been, uh, don't even want to put it into words. Being in hospital really did give me a massive drive to uh, accomplish that dream, knowing how sure life was and not every day's promise to you. My inspiration for me while I was in hospital was uh, definitely the New York City firefighters and the other emergency service personnel uh, on 9-11. Uh, I had a DVD while I was in hospital called 9-11, which followed um, some firefighters into the tower, and I knew that if those guys could get through what they got through that day, that I could get through cancer. What an inspiration. Jake's inspiration. Join us and donate now so you can help Canteen who help people like Jack inspire a nation. I saw